What's going on everybody? It's your boy Zoe with No Days Off DFS here to bring you a prop video. Gonna try to do more of these, of course, um, specifically more on Taco Tuesday and Flex Friday. I'm going to try to bring these back for you guys. I know you guys do appreciate and um, actually do enjoy sometimes whenever I actually do, do go over some props. And it's something that everyone has been asking more for. So I definitely will try to oblige and give that to you guys. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content that I am dropping over here on the channel. And drop a like on this video if this video or any of my other videos help you guys win some money. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's look over our prize picks. If you guys don't have an account, you want one, check the link down in the description below so you guys can get that deposit match bonus. And, you know, we could both get some promo funds and things like that over here on prize picks. But um, if you guys aren't familiar with it today, of course, Taco Tuesday. The first taco up right now is uh, Bob um, for 19 and a half goals. Not a bad play. I know last game he got pulled because he was giving up the shots. Um, pretty much, uh, I'm pretty sure Edmund, they're going to be coming out, taking a lot of shots, trying to go ahead and extend the series. So definitely something to take a look at. And, um go ahead and play uh, if you are looking to pair it up. But let's look at some WNBA plays, some props over here that we can actually get to pair with that taco. So looking at our prop plays, I've already dropped a list of plays that I'm on for today, but I'm going to give you guys a couple of them that I do think stand out that you guys can possibly uh, take to pair up with the taco. Uh, any of the tacos that they actually dropped today, remember it is only $25 max that you can play on those tacos, but you can pair up some of these plays with any of your plays that you actually do like yourself and, um, and run them together uh on a slip period so uh first play i'm actually gonna touch on it's gonna come from the first game it's gonna be our girl ty harris going up against whoops spelled it wrong it's gonna be uh ty harris going up against the um the sparks the sparks they actually um we've seen a, a uptick in regards to production stuff from harris whether or not it's been um her facilitating her scoring and everything as you can see she's been covering her points uh pretty well uh four over the last five games if you want to uh, be a believer in the game logs and things like that but uh one prop that i do think can stand out and it, it doesn't fully tell a full tale in regards to what what it could be for her would be her fantasy point scored that 19 and a half i do believe that um there's room and there's space for her to be able to actually go ahead and hit and go over uh this play right here if you look at the past opposing guards that have gone up against the spark or they've been a uh, haley jo haley jones Actually had a really good game going up against them. Alicia Gray, Courtney Williams, Skylar Diggins Smith, uh, Kelsey Plum, Arike, all of them, they played very well going up against uh, this exact same matchup. Now, I understand that Ty Harris, she doesn't necessarily have the, the high usage that a lot of some of those other plays may have, but she's not just one dimensional. And what I do, what do I mean by that is that she's actually going to do a couple of things in regards to uh, the scoring, but bringing it on the defensive side and then also her playmaking. Now, another one that you can look to for her would be her assist of uh, the three and a half assists. All those plays that I listed off, all of them cleared this exact same assist line um, in all five of the last straight games. Every one of them went over at least four assists. And Ty Harris, I know the ball, we're used to it being in AT's hand, but we are seeing an uptick in regards to her assist and just the ball being in her hands itself as well. And they are resting AT a little bit more than what they have in years past. So the upside for uh, Ty Harris to actually get either the 19 and a half fantasy score or the three and a half assists, both of those look really lovely on today's slate uh, as possible plays that we can actually take for Ty Harris. Now going over to, um, let's look to the other side uh, of that uh, for Brianna Jones. Now, uh, opposing centers has been something that we've attacked time and time again going up against the Sparks. And if you pay attention, uh, Tina Tina Charles, uh, that last game, smash, beautiful. It was a really great game from her. Uh, saw the upside, writing, on, writing was right there on the wall. Same thing can be said right here for Brianna Jones. Now, we know that she is off of a minutes limit. And when she gets the burn, she gets the run. She can ball out clearly. Now, I see that it is popular for her four and a half rebounds. I understand she went over that in her last game. I know that the Sparks, they can give up opposing, they can give up rebounds to opposing bigs. Um throughout games i we, we've seen it but brianna jones if you if you watch it and you pay attention she's kind of like stephen adams for the oklahoma city thunder and russell westbrook she will box out and she will let bonner or at get the rebound so i'm a little skeptical on that rebounding prop i do believe she can uh, at least get you about four rebounds i'm not too sure about the five it's just it, it hasn't been her mo at all all season three four three four i mean going up against indy she only had three rebounds in this game against washington who we know gives up rebounds to opposing bigs only three rebounds in that game same thing chicago going up against uh cardosa and uh angel reese yes they're a really good uh, rebounding duo but even there she wasn't really fighting for the board she was space boxing out for at nine rebounds dewana bonner eight rebounds so i'm a little skeptical on that rebounding prop but 
I do think with the fact that she can actually get into the passing lanes, she can uh, rock some steals. I understand they put this right above what she has been averaging uh, for her, but this this prop has been at like 23 and a half or uh, 23 and 22 fantasy points over the last couple games, and they have bumped it up today to 26 and a half just because of the matchup and what she has and what she's going in going up against the Sparks. I do like that 26 and a half, and I do think she can definitely smash and go over that. But if you want some safety, worried about turnovers or anything like that for her, I don't mind coming right down here for her uh, PRA. Her PRA at 19 and a half is another one I do have interest in because she can get those those weird one or two assists that she can actually get. And if she goes out there and gets you about those four rebounds and comes to her normal season average in regards to like 13 um, points, 13, 14 points right there. She has an easy day to actually hit and go over this 19 and a half going up against Sparks, who we know they are weak against opposing centers. They have had their way and they have actually been crushing um, both of these lines that she is sitting at. They have actually been crushing that uh, so far this season. So definitely some upside in regards to that play right there. All right, last play that I'm going to touch on for you guys, that's going to be Benigel Laney. Um, Again, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of the content that I'm putting out over here on the channel. And drop a like on this video if this video or any of my other videos have helped you guys win some money. If you want to see more of these prop videos, maybe besides just on Taco Tuesday or um, throughout the week, Definitely let me know down in the comment section. I will try to make that happen for you guys. But looking at it, Benajah Laney, there's a ton of props that we can actually take for Laney. All of these props, honestly, to me, they look very good. I am very surprised at probably my favorite prop on the board for today is at the level that it is at for her, considering that there's no Stewie. I mean, not, not Stewie. There is no Sloot. She is having to play minutes due to the fact of, hey, you know, she's been bumped up to the two. She's actually seen an increase in her peripheral stats in regards to not just her rebounding, but also her assist, her sister there as well. And we already know Laney has the most funkiest jump shot, but she's going to go out there and she's going to take at least close to about eight to 10 shots. And nine times out of 10, she has a decent percentage in regards to her hit rate in, in that. And she's going to knock down some shots. But what she brings on the defensive side, that also sticks out. And that's one of the things that I love to look to whenever I take fancy point um, props for players is who's active on the defensive side who can get you a couple of steals who can get you one or two steals or a block in a game and that would be your girl laney right here just looking at it love the upside for her opposing twos which is what she's playing right now all of them had crushed this exact same line um i know you may be worried about oh she's not a jewel lloyd she's not a kelsey plum arike mcbride lloyd but still the upside that she actually brings for the fact that she's going to give us that block and steal upside the scoring the peripheral stats that she's seeing that 24 fantasy points is way too low for the upside that laney has she is honestly my play of the day the main play that i do want to get to and uh would be my favorite to pair up with any of the tacos that come out on today's slate uh with that being said guys hopefully you guys were able to get something from this video drop a like on the video again like i said subscribe if you guys have not done so already to make sure you guys don't miss any of the stuff that i put out check out the dfs pop um, the DFS video that I did drop earlier, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more DFS content. Again, you want to see more of this? Let me know down in the comment section. Peace.